and I'm back. So it has been a very long time since my last video. My camera broke uh, a while back and I have now just replaced it with my brand new Canon SL3 and I'm really excited. It has autofocus, which means I can get oddly close, uncomfortably close, normally far, all that kind of stuff. And uh, so it's, I'm pretty happy with it. Happy to be making my first video since returning. There's been a lot of updates over the last well, few months. Um, I was hoping to put out a video before the end of the year, but I'm going to settle and this is going to be the first Project Pelinor update of 2021. And I've got a lot to get through, so I'm going to break them down into smaller videos. It's been a lot of changes, a lot of updates. I've got a new flag, which is kind of nice. I might uh, put that in a background for some of these videos because I really love the Rohan flag. But what you guys are here for is progress. I have, I actually had to write a list and do some math as to how many models I have painted over this time. I haven't been doing nothing. Um, so for Mordor, I have painted 91 models. Now that goes from everything to small orcs, which there are a lot of, to trolls all the way to the great beast of Gorgoroth, which I will show you. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of uh, some of the some of the things I've worked on. Uh, for Rohan, I have 40 models painted, which for those of you who know, Rohan is mostly cavalry. So realistically, 40 models means that's a lot of horses and riders, so it's, it takes a lot longer to, to do the Riders of Rohan. Um, sorry, the Rohirrim. Um, I have 21 Army of the Dead. I had 20 when I last left. There is now a new figure. It's the King of the Dead. The, they don't have a lot of heroes. I, I painted the King of the Dead. So there's 21 of them. And I have three elves, the three elves that I painted. They were the first thing I actually painted in this project, even though they have nothing to do with Pelinor, as I've said. But that's for a future thing. So in terms of phase one of the project Pelinor, I have painted everything in the box. Um, the Witch King on Fell Beast is more or less painted. It's just not where I want it to be, so I think I'm going to redo parts of it. But I did paint everything, so I did complete that uh, a little later than I was expecting. But I thought I'd start this update with kind of um, some treasures that I found. I went home for Christmas. Uh, I was lucky enough to, to have done some quarantining and all that, so I, I was able to go home. And while clearing out my old closet, I came across a couple things I'd been looking for. Notably, I found my models of Aomir, which I painted with Boo uh, all those years ago. And I'll, I'll do some close-ups here so you can see. They haven't aged well in the sense where, like, they're beat, they're, you know, they're beaten, they're kind of battered. Like, Aomir's missing his sword. Um, some of the paint is chipped off. You know, they, they weren't necessarily looked after the greatest. I just kind of threw them in a box back in the day. Because, really, like, I, I was, like, early teens kind of thing when I was doing this. And I, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know how to take care of models or protect things. So, that's that. Um, probably more importantly, I found the elves that Boo had painted for me. I've only found two out of the three. I don't know where that third elf is, but I kind of want to do some comparisons um, as to, at least in the Aomir model, because I did paint this myself, and I, I like seeing progress, and it's it's kind of comforting to see that, like, I, I didn't like the idea of painting a long time ago. It was something, it just seemed like kind of a chore, and now it's something I do almost every day. I love painting. And so it's kind of nice to see where I was and kind of where I've come from. So I'm going to I'm gonna show you kind of the differences between the Aomir that I painted back in the day and the Aomir I painted a couple months back. Um, and I'm really happy with the techniques I've picked up over the years. So all the people who have helped me over the years, thank you so much. Um, learning how to properly do edge highlighting, um, you know, honing in on how to dry brush properly and even basing. Like I said, I'd never based any models before. So this was kind of a big deal for me. So obviously all my old models are not based because <laughs> I had no idea how to do that and didn't realize it was so simple. So uh, yeah, so I, th I think these have come a long way. Um, it's nice to see that I have these models still. Uh, like obviously I'll never get rid of them or try and repaint them. I think it's important for, for hobbyists to kind of keep almost like a, a record of where you've been. Like, you know, some people almost, they're, they're ashamed. Like, oh man, I was terrible back in the day. And they will strip them and repaint them. Which I guess if you're trying to save money and you don't want to rebuy the model, of course. Like, that totally makes sense. For me, I kind of like having that roadmap of showing 
where you started, where you are. I mean, even now, like, like I'm very happy with these new models, like the, the Aomir model, or even, even the elves. Who knows? In, you know, five to ten years, I might look back on these and be like, wow, like, I, you know, I started airbrushing or something like that. You know, all those other little techniques that you pick up. Uh, I still haven't done airbrushing. That's something for the future. I'm really scared of that. I don't know why. I'll look into that someday. Uh, and I'll probably change <laughs> everything. And I'll, I'll have, uh, you know, kind of a new lease on life in terms of painting. Um, the elves, I'm very happy I found them because it's they still look good. They hadn't aged super well because, I again, I, I just kind of threw them in the box back in the day. And so there's a little damage and chipping on some of them. But something I, I noticed is I really, really like how how Andrew did did their cloaks. I like how he highlighted them. I tried, it's funny, because I had the mental image in my mind of, of these models, um, but I couldn't physically find them. And so I kind of tried to like copy it, you know, from my memory, and it didn't do it justice. So I'm actually looking. I only painted three elves so far, and I'm kind of thinking I might adjust my kind of paint scheme to be more in line with these, uh, the ones that Boo painted for me. And um, yeah, so even, <laughs> you know, even uh, years later, he's helping me paint. So yeah, on uh, on that note. This is just a kind of introduction of uh, getting back into it. I'm going to start making more videos. I have some more exciting announcements. I have so many things I want to show you. I've got a backlog of things. So there's going to be more updates, more progress videos. But uh, I thought I'd start off 2021 correctly and um, use my new camera. So this has been the first of many updates of Project Pelinor. So I'll catch you guys next time.